Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in today's video, we are going to be upgrading some firmware for the Lily Go T Deck Plus. Um, I believe right now it's on 2.4.0. We will be updating it to the latest and greatest firmware. And also, uh, I'll be going over why I got into these last year. What is my intentions on um, these devices, use cases, and will I be getting into more and more of them in the offensive security realm as they are really, really popular, especially this year at DEF CON and even Black Hat for that matter. So let's get right into this video. So guys, as you can see, uh, let me just power this on. Here it is right here. Uh, the reason why I got into these devices last year is I was reading up on them. Uh, my friend who stayed with us uh, this year, uh, he went to, uh, I think, uh, Def, uh, not Def, Def Con the last three years. This year he did stay with us um, at the hacker uh, headquarters, the Airbnb. Um, as you can see, we are locked and loaded. Last and oops, I don't know if you, it will zoom in, but it does say... We are locked in, located to the node in Las Vegas, still at Chica Bonitas. Um, that's, a, that's an inside joke from the hacker uh, layer. But we are on 2.4.0 firmware. Uh, and uh, just so you can see, it's still there. The reason why I got into these is because for the communication aspects, especially when there is a SHTF scenario, I do not want to go into any more depths of as far as offensive security with these devices as well as ham radio um, the only reason why i want to get into those is for like i said at shtf and also that my kids and family and hopefully friends will get on board so all when all the mainstream stuff that are dependent on everything that is interconnected such as aws google azure whatever the cloud services or some of these other on-prem services that go down or get attacked or breached or whatever these are end-to-end -end decrypted and um, that you don't need no data no internet nothing um these are pretty great to have especially with my son's school it's not even two miles away um i could give him this especially with texas's new stupid law about no cell phones um you know he could have one of these in his backpack i got the note set up just a little note, uh, I'm going to get one installed onto the roof with an antenna. Um, that way it's pretty good uh, long range distance, so I don't have to worry about that stuff. I also ordered him one of the smaller ones where you could just latch it onto his backpack and he won't even know, you know, most people won't even know what it is um, unless they're in that world. Um, so that's pretty much my use case for these and also anything ham related. I do want to get my ham certification, but again, I'm not going to dive into anything deeper um, as far as the offensive security side, it's just going to be for SHTF scenarios and also um, and also if uh, you know I might pick up some things or uh, some little tricks here and there, but that's about it. Uh, I'm not going to dive deep into another niche niche of offensive security. So that's being said, let's get started and get this thing upgraded. All right, so now as you see, we are flasher .mesh flasher mesh tastic.org now um, if you do have a vpn make sure you check it because sometimes it will not work change your settings on it um, so i just turned mine off right now uh, i use proton so i am going to hit select target device lily go t deck uh, it should pick it up and when it does you will have your firmware load so i am going to, uh, to be going to the latest and greatest seven dot oh jesus christ i can't talk 2.7.5 um ddd 1499 alpha so let's go ahead and do that and we are going to just hit the flash button it's going to come down give you all the info full change hit continue um full erase and install make sure you do that make sure everything's here uh 50 115 200 is slower but can be more reliable for lower quality connections that is what i leave i do not change that um, the only thing just to make sure that you have a full erase and install make sure you have mesh chat mesh tastic ui 
and then go ahead hit go ahead and hit the erase flash and install and it'll be popping up down here um, as far as on the little uh, terminal hit erase and flash now we should just go here and which one is it uh, tiny is it tiny USB there we go open on serial port uh, nope Nope. So for here, we are going to um, turn it off, right? So you just press the button on up on the side. Now you're gonna hold the middle um, roller button. Um, I forgot the name of these actually. I remember the Blackberries back in the day. Um, you're just gonna hold that down, press and hold down, and then hold the uh, plug in the cable, and then you're gonna turn it on. Keep holding it. And let's give it a couple seconds. Now you're gonna see USB JTAG serial debug unit COM6. Click that, connect, and there it goes. Now it's flashing. Um, shouldn't take that long. Uh, say maybe three minutes, two to three minutes. Um, but as you can see, it's going pretty fairly quick. Um, after that, you should be good to go. Scroll down and also you can connect it to the phone app. I wanna do a video on that because some, um, some people like it, some people don't. I'll let you experiment on your own with that. But for that, what you do, I have Android. Uh, let's see, so, which one, where the hell did I put it at? Uh, 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 I don't even know where I put that back. Did I delete this damn thing? Oh, there it is. So yeah, it's gonna be the mesh task mesh tastic app. It pretty much looks just like it does right here. Green um, with the outline of the lettering in black. Um, now it's pretty much done. So what we wanna do is unplug it and we wanna go ahead and turn on device on. And let's see if it flashed correctly. Uh, this one does not have a memory card. There you go. Uh, 2.7.5. I don't know if you guys could see that. I got to get a better camera. So now the UI is really different. It is upgraded to the latest and greatest. Um, so you could actually use your short name. So for me, I am going to do... Uh, Let's see. Uh -uh. There we go. Zero X three for the short name. And then I am going to put my uh, other name. And it also is touchscreen. So let's go ahead and just for those that don't. Uh, didn't know that um, zero x three and then I will put my code name for those that see me on Instagram that is what I will use there we go now it's gonna reboot once you enter your short name and long name. And after that, you should be good to go, collecting to no connecting to nodes, sending messages, and therefore. So that is the video. I'm gonna do some more stuff on this uh, on Meshtastic when I start building out some of my more nodes um, and also some of more projects just for communication purposes only. Like I said, I might pick up some things here and there. Um, and that's about it. I'm not going to go crazy into the weeds with this, but it is just for an SHTF scenario for me and my kids and family, friends. Hopefully they get on, on the train for these things because uh, when everything's out, like I said, you don't need data plan, cellular, internet. You're all good to go with these. Um, so that being said, that's the video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.